So we are going to the new topic of uh, this day yeah, and uh, we are talking about uh, the pin uh, for me and um, I think for most uh, uh, simple users yeah, it's um, one of the terms that uh, understandable uh, not understandable so much as we as we can uh, so we uh, provide uh, today is Dmitry Gerasimov uh, it's a real expert in uh, dipping uh, and uh, he shared his information as you see he is going in the taxi in Dubai <laughs> yeah we are we are trying to make it live from Dubai in studio but uh, it's uh, one of the problem of uh, Dubai it's uh, terrible traffic uh, especially in GBR in Dubai Marina <laughs> so uh, if you will ever come to Dubai uh, at some additional time when you need to come anywhere for a uh, perfect time so uh, we can uh, go with the questions uh, now we can start just for a few words about you how uh, you come uh, to the pin because as i know you have a lot of experience for last 10 years in uh, different technical uh, solutions and why you choose to uh, move in this area um so everyone i want to say first that the pin it was not uh, our first goal, but it became organically in our uh, ecosystem uh, because, first of all, we were focused on a mass adoption. And if we are talking about uh, about mass adoption, uh, we need to know that most of uh, common people um, not so experienced to configure some uh, complicated software ever to install additional application on the stop for someone. It could be a serious challenge, especially, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, blockchain software uh, needs some special configuration. It's not so uh, user friendly, and uh, we decided to uh, to provide some specific uh, hardware solutions that could be used for common faults. Uh, our ideology to make hardware solution uh, zero config that doesn't require any uh, specific configuration. You just uh, plug in and it works. It was our it was the beginning from what we started to do our own DPIN network. Um, next step was focused on a service that DPIN devices provide. Uh, because uh, uh, technically, uh, most of uh, every blockchain network could be DPIN. It, uh, for example, every Bitcoin uses ASIC devices that are technically also DPIN. But usually we talk about DPIN uh, when we use some specific uh, devices for specific uh, use cases. It could be, uh, for example, there is a Kelvin VPN project that works in our ecosystem and it provides VPN service just from these uh, specific devices. And uh, other VPN projects, it could be IOT hubs and uh, it could be some kind of uh, payment gates. So a lot of specific use cases. Um, we so, so we, uh, because our uh, ecosystem most focused on non-financial dApps, you see there is a uh, wide range of possible uh, specific usage. So the pin is uh, it's on the cover is the first that we think about. So for now we prepared a few solutions. It's a solution for our base cell frame network. And, uh, it's a hardware cell frame node. Nothing specific, a lot of uh, different projects uh, does such solutions. In our case, the uh, only difference that we use a uh, uh, low cost for hardware like uh, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, or other computers, and that's enough to, for us to um, bring up network all of them. Um, so, the second solution is a VPN router uh, that provides uh, acts like um, actual router, but uh, wrap all the traffic inside the VPN tunnel. That's two examples that we can uh, show for now as the pin, but as I told before, it could be really wide range of possible use cases. Just you need to find some non-financial uh, application uh, and configure that. Okay, it's a great question. Uh, 
now you can cross the road uh, go straight and near this black restaurant you can find a lift that goes upstairs uh, right to uh, our location go to the left across the road from now yeah from the left to the road, road right? yeah that's black restaurant and you can find a lift uh, to upstairs uh, next floor yeah and now uh, 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 butcher butcher shop on the grill right uh, yeah something li like this uh, so the next question uh, we have uh, some solutions on the market that provides uh, now to the right you need to go to the right uh, yeah. Different, no. different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, <laughs> I will provide you the questions okay. and directions. <laughs> and our our, our attendees now working yeah. with you in Dubai because uh, some of the attendees not in Dubai, so they can uh, see now it's a beautiful Jibra uh, place. Yeah, so we we can ask uh, operator to show. Uh, a part of Dubai, it m can move camera to the right a little bit uh, to sh sh show us. Show please the red. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, street. That's why we are here because Dubai now is uh, really uh, is the heart of the crypto space. Yeah, most of the best uh, uh, speakers and the specialists here. Uh, just going 10 meters uh, straight and to the left you find the lift after this black uh, uh, rest. Uh-huh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a question. Uh, I know a uh, few projects uh, that uh, provide a uh, passive income. For example, you can buy a router, yeah, or you can buy a uh, navigator uh, for a car and they paid some uh, in in their coins so when you route in the marshals or uh, you share uh, your traffic uh, to a to a chain yeah and uh, they provide and uh, some uh, additional uh, value in their tokens to users who bought uh, their physical uh, routers or navigators uh, how you think uh, how long it can work or oh, this business model can uh, be chosen by attendees as a cash flow stream for example like like it was with miners yeah we, we heard a lot of miners it uh, for me as we're looking for mining yeah it's like uh, some dpin yeah but <laughs> it was not provided like a dpin <laughs> solution uh, but for sure it from now from this point of view it's also was uh, like dpin just p some here here just one so, you understand my question, and we can go. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. hear nothing. Uh, Network is broken. Oh, connection is changed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So about income, uh, it depends from a lot of. Uh, lot of parameters because for example if ever um did use some uh too specific uh service that maybe uh have no uh, have no direct application about such role shares but, but it could be interested for community uh that uh, first of all community should see the value of such application and the second there should be hype. Most of uh, most of uh, income for node verificators uh, depends from um, exposure of the product, because most of people most thinking about future, not uh, for now. Now you can stop, current, stop, stop uh, uh, to the to the right, to the right of this building, and you will find an entrance in the game. Yeah, go straight and to the right. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can join yeah, us uh, now. My assistant will <laughs> take care about you. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, we arrived. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Dmitry get to our studio already. I think it was uh, interesting to <laughs> take a short uh, walk uh, in Dubai if you're not here or just trying to come here. So uh, you answered fully on my question uh, or we can move to another question. Let's go on another. Okay, uh, let's try. Oh, maybe you took with you some uh, your VPN. <laughs> <laughs> you forget about it. It's okay. Unfortunately, I have no uh, them here. Um, maybe if it's possible to publish a link on some photos, or maybe later. Um, anyway, it's. Uh, it looks nice, but it just looks nice because most mm -hmm. of its value is inside and mm -hmm. uh, better to talk about this. Anyway, I had mm -hmm. to I have to talk about this. Uh, I can it. Uh, so on, as I told before, we mm -hmm. have uh, two possible solution right now. They already possible to pre-order on mm -hmm. uh, Cellframe uh, shop shop dot uh, mm -hmm. First is a hardware nor as I say as I said before. Second is a VPN router. Mm -hmm. uh, VPN router uh, could be also combined with a hardware node, so it mm -hmm. uh, can not only use mm -hmm. VPN but also provide VPN. Mm -hmm. Depends from your legal situation in your country. Mm -hmm. Please uh, do your own legal research. <laughs> in some countries, it's <coughs> forbidden. As I know, it's not everything. Fine with VPN here uh, mm -hmm. in Russia, strange situation with it. It's uh, not forbidden, but not fully allowed. I can s can say more correct. Uh, do your own research for legal. Anyway, in uh, for VPN, we are most focused in mm -hmm. uh, hardware solutions because for just not for most of the not all the people, by the way, uh, want to have a dedicated hardware. For mm -hmm. a lot of people, it's preferable to have a cloud instance yeah, for them. Yeah. And uh, by the way, about such cloud instance, we're also thinking about to provide uh, such instances through the dedicated method like uh, next cloud uh, we have met in a startup each on blockchain live mm -hmm. excellent project uh, next cloud uh, we're trying to collaborate with them and they are focused to provide cloud instances mm -hmm. of virtual machines um, uh, backed by uh, not used by common users uh, cpu and memory resources so, for example if you have some computers mm -hmm. just uh, standing by and have some free resources you can share them that's their idea and we wanted to integrate them in our uh, in our ecosystem because our ecosystem is focused on non-financial mm -hmm. application and most of non-financial application can be packed in hardware solution yeah it sounds like a grass extension for chrome uh, they provide the same so uh, they share your free traffic uh, to a chain back and uh, now is our uh, they just uh, paid in the points yeah but well, lot of well, a lot of such projects that mm -hmm. uh, trying to monetize uh, uh, such uh, services provided by uh, users by the way a lot of such services are preferable from mm -hmm. com uh, from uh, um, from common people because for example if you want to if you are living in USA and want to see Netflix cheaper mm -hmm. than you usual, usually you try to pay for VPN. But Netflix also care about um, uh, this, and they are blocking IP addresses from mm -hmm. cloud services. Ah, yeah. uh, they uh, strongly uh, so it's uh, another value. Uh, your uh, physical IP address connected with. Uh, physical building or just your home, it's not belong to data center. Uh, so IP addresses of data centers are cheaper than mm -hmm. uh, personal uh, white IP addresses. Uh, for now, by the way, uh, we have ability to put different orders mm -hmm. with different uh, uh, with different values. Uh, it's not used for now, but it's possible. And I'm looking, uh, looking forward when uh, we'll be some kind of VPN stock merging different VPN services for uh, when the people can select what their type of VPN they uh, they have. Okay, so moving to VPNs, yeah, and uh, 
for example, an extension for Chrome that I mentioned before. Uh, the main thing that carried me and carried, uh, I think, a lot of users as we uh, know a lot of information about classical VPN that uh, they stole information so you can uh, uh, make uh, some issues here. Yeah? So it's about security. How to uh, be sure in s for security using uh, your uh, solution or solution like uh, from others, uh, the pin uh, projects, uh, the main question in yes uh, about uh, security yeah. um, why the most of centralized VPN services have to to mm -hmm. collect this information mm -hmm. um, in different countries there are different laws and uh, for example in USA if you are not recording IP, if you are not tracking IP addresses mm -hmm. uh, of traffic passing through you you also <laughs> you also became um, how to say it? Uh, so just uh, <laughs> don't know. Mm -hmm. Also, As assign it to this. Yes, you became assigned to crime that happens through you mm -hmm. if you are not recording all this private data passing through you. Mm -hmm. um, in other countries, you will uh, be assigned just if you um, if you haven't collected uh, email. For example, mm -hmm. uh, here we're trying to build systems that will not provide it VPN. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Dim Labs, so uh, Self Frame doesn't provide uh, VPN. We provide platform mm -hmm. for exchange where providers, private providers, can mm -hmm. connect with private users, and it's their own uh, responsibility for this. Uh, so we don't have to collect any private data mm -hmm. by the way ever we cannot collect your traffic because traffic doesn't pass through our services service uh vpn uh, uh server uh it's not our it's some somewhere else uh so uh when we uh provide gate from uh fired payments to uh, crypto because not everyone who want to use uh, VPN has a cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. so we care about them and they can pay just with a Visa card. Mm -hmm. Here we have to collect data about payment. Yeah, yeah. No, so uh, if you want to provide higher level of security, you just connect our VPN client to Cell Frame Wallet, Cell Frame Dashboard, and uh, pay directly with a Cal token mm -hmm. for this and. Uh, we don't care about what happens because we ever don't collect payment we don't provide services so we have no duty and have no possibility to collect any private so data. it's going anonymously for users exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, so for now for now we ever doesn't collect uh, emails because mm -hmm. we have uh, we just provide uh, we just accept payment provide a serial number and then uh, you just use this serial number. Mm -hmm. If any problems, we collect that payment. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. If you need high security level, mm -hmm. just pay uh, with tokens without Visa card or something mm -hmm. like this. Okay, so the next uh, question it's uh, combined with previous uh, questions uh, when we're talking about an, uh, passive income, yeah, from uh, some. Uh, uh, depends uh, projects like we know that uh, here's TVs with uh, some uh, in build that uh, are miners, but we can provide this uh, TV as a depend project uh, that uh, decentralized yeah, and it's a physical uh, object yeah. So navigators, uh, VPNs, uh, routers, uh, mobile phones for for we know uh, Solana put their uh, player uh, game. Uh, not only phones, but uh, something like a Nintendo is it? It's also uh, handheld well, console. Uh, yeah, con console. Yeah, and so we also we can think that it's uh, like a DPN project. Yeah, because uh, even our physical and infrastructure. Uh, so the main uh, question: This uh, will be a hype, and a lot of projects, if you know, uh, when uh, hype goes. Uh, always burn some uh, scam or fake projects yeah they're trying to yeah. use it as this so what is the red flags if we thinking about to, to invest on uh, buy some uh, goods from a project who uh, provides them like a dipping project 
what a red flag so to check uh, to not be scammed or and uh, don't lose the money in this uh, area first of all i think you should check the two things um Mm, first of all, the real value that produces this project. Mm -hmm. For example, if it's uh, VPN, it provides VPN. Mm -hmm. If it's some kind of dedicated TV, mm -hmm. it's TV itself. Mm -hmm. uh, if, but for example, imagine you have some box that does nothing, or you playing on this box and you provide results of your games. Mm -hmm. Who interested with these results? Maybe somebody will be interested. Your friends, personally, mm -hmm. your friends. But if uh, you provide some such game fingerprint from this mm -hmm. and it doesn't provide so big value, you could imagine, okay, you provide something, how much it costs, mm -hmm. how, much pro how much value provided by one uh, verificator. Mm -hmm. um, and you can measure this total value and compare with uh, capitalization. Mm -hmm. And imagine that you, for example, have a thousands of verificator every verificator mm -hmm. provide one dollar per month but you but your project promises uh mm -hmm. uh, uh 10x uh mm -hmm. every month and capitalization somewhere for example about one million dollars just mm -hmm. uh, for beginning it's ultra small capital capitalization i'm talking just for example about example and for example you see the trail while with thousand dollars capitalization one million dollars you need to provide profit uh every month uh at, for example ten percent mm -hmm. it's uncomparable uh and you see it will fly up only if there are something different from uh, the, if they have has a different source of profit mm -hmm. uh, and here the mm, pin became only as a, a exposure as PR mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's not bad sometimes it's not bad I'm not talk I'm I don't want to say that every uh, almost useless project uh, yeah. is a scam sometimes they have use case like a mass adoption for example mm -hmm. uh, most of people hate hamster mm -hmm. or other tap game uh, yes it's not a serious but uh, just think about how many young people it, they... was, it was a huge wave for yes. commerce yeah a lot of new commerce uh, came uh, in uh, crypto industry through this so such the pin project can be a uh, starting platform for mm -hmm. them uh, but here you need to be careful mm -hmm. because uh, without strong use cases uh, just uh, must adoption should have a ultra strong PR they uh, need to coach some idea mm -hmm. uh, such trigger because you know hamster was only one that uh, became so popular if you will uh, track what happens before hamster mm -hmm. was thousands of projects that fall down uh, that uh, failed yeah um so if you don't it's not a red flag but almost red flag that it has no real use key mm -hmm. uh, real usage real value or ultra small value another um, red flag i think it's um it's common for all crypto projects if they um promises higher what you always need to think from what they will take this higher mm -hmm. watts. Um, so, for example, if um, I don't know um, Vitalik Buterin yeah. uh, advertises this project, okay, a lot of people came invest this project, and you will have. But that's a Ponzi scam. You know, to to, to remember uh, such, such situation. So better to select uh, projects with the real use cases, mm -hmm. with real value, and. Uh, it's not only about the pin projects it's about any uh, crypto project okay okay so next uh, question uh, if we're talking about hamster as a driver of uh, top up and uh, newcomers what is the prominent waves uh, you see in uh, the pin hype uh, what's the best solution uh, can be used uh, to make uh, more interested for this area Mm, hard to say to predict what will be in hype <laughs> who knows just, this just for example sure like uh, he'll th became three five ways we, we, <laughs> of course we <laughs> never know what can be a next unicorn yeah or yes. what get a hype a lot of hype and monetize this uh, 
just my opinion i understand also i am interested person you know yeah it's not <laughs> any financial <laughs> advice we don't not even we not providing okay, um, any financial advice here so it's a just sharing of experience and own uh, uh, minds i think um uh, hype uh particularly will be around some kind of gamification mm -hmm. it's still uh has a huge uh unrealized potential uh why i am thinking so because most of game five it's defy with a small game so m almost nobody cares about game design yes there are a uh, strong uh, yeah, real games not casual games it could be um, action adventure rpg uh with a uh, uh cool graphics mm -hmm. uh, i cannot say an exact name but i i have seen them but usually such projects mm -hmm. have a weak uh blockchain mm -hmm. um back but uh another on another side there mm -hmm. are um just some kind of memo uh, memo coins with game gamification and they have almost no um game design uh, should be some Mm, balance between mm -hmm. these uh, opposite uh, uh, things and I think uh, guys I think uh, if somebody will mm -hmm. make the really interesting game mm -hmm. real, it sh could be something simple but interesting mm -hmm. ever without blockchain it should be interesting uh, and not, not all the games needs a blockchain <laughs> yes yes yeah. but it will be really nice that if it will strongly requires blockchain mm -hmm. So, um, if some startup startuppers uh, looking on me, I'm asking guys invent something. I right now uh, game uh, market is uh, all, uh, is dying because mm -hmm. you know uh, most of um, uh, franchise and games became uh, uh, start to release uh, really bad games. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a gamer, it's hard to find something interesting. So if somebody j will do just good game, it will ever ever this will be good. And if this game will require blockchain, it's uh, some specific blockchain. I think it will be driver of the next bull run. Now we are moving to game fee. <laughs> discussion, yeah. I guessed <laughs> from a uh, Yeah, but uh, I have a few different uh, views. Uh, if we're talking about find interesting game, because if we're talking about hamster, yeah, and uh, talking mass adoption, and uh, we need to remind about catism, yeah. Uh, if you missed the catism uh, or you not missed it's a just a tap game also in telegram is a just stop it graphic uh, with uh, cats that need you need to spare it uh, to burn uh, new cats and uh, they get uh, 30 million dollars uh, in uh, cash flow uh, just before listing uh, from the transaction inside that they used to uh, ton transactions uh, for some points for some uh, additional catches but as a game it's just a stupid game <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a casual game Th that's why for previous talk uh, we never know what can boom <laughs> in this market yeah maybe the pin because the pin also could be a driver yeah um I have heard uh, about idea that it will be meme coins, but uh, I'm not sure. I think people played enough with meme coins. The pin it's a really good way for mass adoption because mm -hmm. it's possible to make zero con uh, zero config devices that doesn't require at all. Is that you just purchase it, unpack, plug in, and it works. I think uh, this way will attract a lot of people um on the beginning level a lot of new scammers came and usually new commerce forming bull, bull run mm -hmm. uh so by the way about these cats as a remember on the beginning of nft era was such project like uh, breeding cats yeah um, maybe they just relaunched this uh, idea and they why they got success here yes game design some, they some, can, sometimes uh, yeah, as you told uh, previous uh, uh, invent something more uh, new yeah sometimes we no need to invent something we can just reinvent the best solutions yes. from uh, previous uh, hypes uh, cycles combined with the uh, new narratives and uh, find the best way to provide it and uh, hype that 
So uh, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Maybe it was uh, like this. Yeah. So. So so so. Uh, the pin. Yeah. About the pin and why it can be a new way of mass adoption because uh, if we turn in uh, 2017, yeah, it was a uh, uh, hype of mining and uh, almost all the guys. Uh, I'm in crypto, but I'm a miner. Uh, I didn't mine on my uh, video cards. Yeah, I'm both a miner. It, it's like a deep in, yeah, because with they share in their uh, nodes to approve in, in blockchain transactions. So it's a way of uh, deep in. Uh, now we have reinvent this, yeah, and, and add uh, some additional uh, physical toys. So yeah, I'm thinking that the pin is really for newcomers, but because why miners was uh, so uh, good for people because people want to take anything physical yes, yeah. yes and this is the way problem. the pin provide now that uh, users not just buying some uh, tokens in anywhere yeah that uh, just live in a uh, cloud yeah they can try some uh, toys uh, goods and uh, know that oh okay i'm in crypto i'm sharing vpn <laughs> yeah yes. you're using blockchain by the way it's better than to have an uh, to case an asics because uh, this uh, physical device attraction mm -hmm. provided mm, let's say so health scammed uh, market of uh, second-hand asics mm -hmm. why it uh, says that's a uh, half scam because uh, there is sense there is only sense to purchase the last generation of asics mm -hmm. because you know hash rate grows and if you purchase something previous generation your income will be extra small and a lot of people because they want to have some physical yeah uh, and see oh it's a cheap if, asic if, if anything <laughs> happens uh, i can i can uh, sell it <laughs> yes yes and they cannot sell it smartly yeah. Um, so with VPN should be uh, better because it's um, situation. Um, uh, I think um, I don't think that uh, VPN market became reduced in the next ten years. Um, in different countries, became become more and more censorship, uh, more and more restrictions, limitations, and unfortunately, uh, global network became broken. Uh, it's still not broken. We still have a global internet. Yeah. But who knows what will be in about 20 years and maybe we'll have a segmentation, strong segmentation. Uh, so I think if uh, we'll, when, when we'll go to the really uh, mass, uh, really high growing uh, uh, VPN network, it will be really good investition uh, mm -hmm. to just build uh, some kind of VPN farms. By the way, I know a lot of people that were involved in mining, mm -hmm. but they are not involved in crypto. That's <laughs> interesting. There's still such people that own a uh, mining farm, but they know about knows nothing about Al crypto. Auto, auto selling and uh, send, yeah. send, send in usually they <laughs> have special specific uh, tech guys that cares about to sell these tokens they ever don't want to touch it they think that it's a, a ponzi scam and uh, so they doesn't hold any tokens uh, and by the way if the profit uh, on is only from uh, new emission it's a mm -hmm. problem uh, if you have a lot of such people that mm -hmm. sell all the profit uh, w uh, just when they got it mm -hmm. uh, it's the, a problem the... uh, if b but if we are talking about VPN mm -hmm. there is a real uh, cash flow in the system mm -hmm. because VPN users pay for the service mm -hmm. by the way same for TV if uh, same uh, for any real value so yeah. uh, that's uh, why I'm personally was interested in this um, market because um, I want to I personally want to provide something real yeah not just financial tools there are a lot of financial tools for my opinion um, Yes, we have also sense because we have a, a quantum protection. Uh, so cell frame, for example, itself, it's uh, also financial tools mm -hmm. just to save your savings from uh, quantum apocalypse. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a long, a, it's a long, long term view. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. By the way, a lot of our holders are focused only on this long term and mm -hmm. don't sell the cell. <laughs> <laughs> It uh, sounds like a good slogan. <laughs> that is.
By the way, sales, sales. Oh, uh, by the way, this slogan wasn't invented by our marketing team. We have seen it in our uh, community. Just, just of community, yes. Yeah, sometimes community provide uh, interesting and uh, solution and provide more marketing uh, than <laughs> in uh, in uh, in house uh, marketing team. Yeah. So uh, VPN. And we turn back to VPN from game fee, from top apps, uh, <laughs> from, from other. And again, VPN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as we know, now it's a, a huge battle with uh, VPNs. Yeah, if we provide them the names, uh, some countries, for example, in Russia, they blocked every new VPN with uh, mm. some courage. <laughs> yeah. Not uh, all. In, in, not all, yeah, they frighten. Mm. From another way, uh, US now helping uh, to provide uh, additional uh, funds uh, to make more VPN for yes. Russians to know uh, uh, good information. So uh, they and uh, this goes in all over the world uh, because in China we know uh, it's uh, almost all users uh, need to use VPN because all popular uh, services are blocked. Yeah, like uh, YouTube and others we know. So. How are you fighting with this uh, when uh, some uh, VPN or using cloud you have uh, some solutions that uh, are... Uh, for this? now, because we are, uh, uh, if we are talking about uh, situation in Russia, uh, Russian uh, Roskomnadzor uh, government structure that uh, cares about blocks and censorship. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are talking, it's, uh, it was just for examples. Uh, yeah. uh, from, uh, so uh, for now they focus it, uh, on the biggest Western VPNs, mm -hmm. as I see. Uh, if we're talking about different countries, it differs from country to country, but common situation that uh, usually governments uh, cares about, uh, um, about uh, to prevent Mm -hmm. a connection from uh, uh, to uh, from uh, common folks to uncontrolled mm -hmm. uh, medias. If uh, it, uh, for example, uh, usually uh, for government for governments, it's okay to restrict about uh, twenty or fifty percent mm -hmm. of the uh, less educated, uh, most impressive uh, people, uh, and about the rest, they usually don't care. Mm -hmm. If we are not talking about such uh, countries like North Korea, but ever I don't know about ever situation with VPN, mm -hmm. and then maybe they also don't care about it. So at least for now, at least for now, uh, we have a situation when you can use VPN, mm -hmm. a government uh, trying to block this VPN, mm -hmm. but it's not trying to block it on one hundred percent. It usually trying to restrict your uh, user's amount mm -hmm. in country uh, and uh, what we have to prevent it. Uh, it's a technical moment uh, because DPI, Deep Packet Inspection Systems, mm -hmm. uh, have um, not so many CPU time to detect your protocol because mm -hmm. imagine you have a uh, gigab uh, gigabits, gigabytes of traffic coming every second through your router and you need to track every packet and their billions in this mm -hmm. uh, and you need analysis mm -hmm. uh, this uh, packet extremely fast. Mm -hmm. So you have no not so much uh, metrics mm -hmm. that uh, you can track uh, and uh, if you want to rise um, complexity of this analysis. You, uh, it requires to purchase more uh, expensive hardware. Mm -hmm. So uh, DPI hardware, uh, DPI solution providers always need to balance between mm -hmm. effectivity of DPI and uh, hardware mm -hmm. costs. And in this balance Mm -hmm. uh, we need to look on this balance mm -hmm. and see how complex protection uh, we need, how flexible protocol should be, how it should uh, mm, be shadowed or uh, mm -hmm. should masquerade uh, as, uh, for example, uh, our protocols are trying to masquerade as a, a usual HTTP protocol. I know about one VPN that uh, trying to uh, looks like uh, Counter Strike traffic. Mm -hmm. So for DPI, it's just guys playing in Counter Strike. Mm -hmm. uh, for KLVPN, mm -hmm. DPI uh, see uh, sees this like a 
just some some maybe multimedia streaming on old-fashioned protocol ever mm -hmm. without encryption by the way it was a really a good choice to um, use HTTP not HTTPS um, because if um, DPI sees a uh, huge traffic in on one direction and it's encrypted with uh, SSL usually you got blo uh, blocked at least mm -hmm. in China mm -hmm. but e, uh, DPI when see it's HTTP mm -hmm. without S it decides ah it's some old uh, unencrypted mm -hmm. protocol we don't care about it sometimes by the way we have not the, to be blocked but it's funny uh, a lot of uh, providers trying mm -hmm. to economy traffic mm -hmm. and for traffic economy they uh, uh, install so-called transparent proxy service. Mm -hmm. Transparent proxy service uh, introduce in your traffic, uh, capture HTTP without encryption mm -hmm. and cache it. So when it tried to cache our um, our VPN traffic, it mm -hmm. just became blocked. So sometimes we got blocked not because of DPI, but because of providers that are trying to economy traffic. Mm -hmm. It's not a common situation because it's broke uh, not only our protocols, uh, some, for example, we I have seen such troubles with a router update. Mm -hmm. I have a router that just trying to download its software, it's open for download, nothing to encrypt, and it works on HTTP and uh, uh, I remember just to up, uh, to update router at my home. I had to connect it with a 4G modem and do it through mobile network because mobile network had a had no such uh, uh, transparent proxy and updated well when my landline had it. Mm -hmm. And uh, past it about maybe a week or two, I w I uh, did complain uh, connected with support said that I have such problems. They solved it. <laughs> and now it works well. Um, there are other solutions. I will not. Uh, mm, I don't want to share them before. It's our kind of secret weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, if some if situation changes and uh, DPI start to block us, we start to we switch this secret weapon. It's just another protocol. So, so, so you just you're, you're prepared for this. Uh, of course, uh, of course. Uh, Talking about quantum computers, I'm understanding that you are so long term and <laughs> have a lot of <laughs> the solutions to provide the best way. Okay, so now we are going out of time, uh, so you can just uh, be almost one hour <laughs> in, our, in our stream. Uh, so you can provide just few words for our attendees uh, about what else. Uh, across the pin, um, but we, we talk about this, uh, it's like uh, games and other. Uh, what else interesting you uh, uh, across the pin in this bull run cycle, for example? I'm interested in about some two things, universal solution and specific solution. Mm -hmm. uh, universal solution, it could be some kind of PC or just powerful computers that use uh, set up somewhere or you take uh, your own one mm -hmm. install some software and start to support some uh, deep in networks it will be different networks and specific that uh, support specific network um, and uh, as I said before it should be it should have a real value I'm looking forward to such a project mm -hmm. I believe they are I have seen one of them on the blockchain mm -hmm. life like a next cloud we also have a real value so that's I'm looking forward for more and more good uh, real value dipping projects. Okay, great. So, Sam Smithy, thank to, you to, to, to come in, to come in here. <laughs> uh, it's not late. You just provide uh, an attendees and some uh, work uh, in Dubai. We combine this. We can always find solutions <laughs> for for anything. Yeah. So. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, we will share this information ad additionally for all the other socials. So uh, now we are going to 10 minutes uh, break uh, and uh, back in uh, 10 minutes. Bye.